And as we mentioned, the NCAA tournament gets started today with the first four. Tip off for the first game is at 5 10 with Texas Southern squaring off against Mount St. Mary's. Our Eric Pointer joins us now live. He's in our newsroom this morning. Eric, good morning. The first four usually starts on a Tuesday. Why the late start this year? So since the entire tournament is here in Indiana, they had to do some shifting around for those logistics to allow for increased safety measures. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the Texas Southern is squaring off against Mount St. Mary's at 510. Drake University and Wichita State play at 627. And Appalachian State versus North Folk State happens at 840. And the last game today is UCLA against Michigan State at 957. Now, the main function of the adjusted schedule is for the health and safety protocols for everyone in Involved. It gave the NCAA a bigger window to replace any teams that didn't meet testing protocols. It also balances time away from campus for college student athletes. Officials had this to say about that in yesterday's briefing. We have a library set up. We have an academic resource center set up in the convention center also for student athletes to print things out if they need to for classwork or, uh, or to get uh, help with technology you know, for their devices, for schoolwork. And while the teams will be in a controlled environment, Victory Field is set up as a playground of sorts with different activities for the teams to get some time outdoors. And there are also plans for more activities and outdoor things as the tournament progresses. Now, with the adjustment in the schedule, the Final Four will have a quicker turnaround time than normal, and the tournament is scheduled to wrap up with the champion being named on April 5th. In the newsroom, Eric Pointer, back to you in the studio. All right.